Welcome to a new feature on the NA2 and today we'll be looking at the Engage Suite. Obviously here I've got the phone connected to TV out so you can have a much better look at what's on the screen as well as me being able to see the screen if I need to show you some games for instance. Okay as you see the Engage icon is displayed in the bottom middle or wherever you put it and I'll click on that now. It'll take a minute to start up. It's quite a big application. Okay, and here's your main screen. Um, here you have the latest game you've played. And you also have this little progress bar here. And I believe from what I've played so far, it's how far you've got through the game um, in terms of how many engage points you've won in the game. Um, you start on nothing, and I've played this for a while, up to a half an hour, hour, and I've managed to get one green bar. So it will take quite a while to fill up the entire bar, which is one, two, three, ten icons there. Um, you got track your progress. This is for the latest information. You've got your display pick here, your engage points, your reputation out of five stars, um, which I haven't played online yet, so that's nothing. Um, there's a reason I can't play online, unfortunately, um, because this isn't the N81, you're not even going to have the Engage suite on here. Some content, they block you out. They, ha they do try and block you out the shop, but I've actually managed to get free games um, paid from Engage, um, which was quite a nice feat to do. And also your friends here, Zero Friends, again, that's a feature they managed to block. Um, feature game, that's a feature game from the shop. That's one actually owned Tetris. We'll go in more on that in a bit. And you've got your messages, which will be sent from your friends. I'm not sure if Nokia themselves will send you messages. I guess that's a possibility. If they do, they'll be displayed here on the main screen. Okay. And also, if you move from left to right, you can move between these main headings here. This is home. Okay, so right, we've got my games. Okay. I've bought three games. These are the three I've bought. System Rush Evolution, Tetris, Space Impact, Kappa Base. But also, there's the trial games you've purchased here. I've got Creatures of the Deep and World Series of Poker. And also, there's a link here to go straight to the shop, which is this icon here. But you can get it from here too. Also, the order in which these games come down from are the most recently played. Um, it doesn't matter if they're trials or not. If I play Creatures of the Deep, it will be at the top of the page. Moving on, we've got my profile. We've got Luvian here. Points 400, again reputation nothing out of 5, friends none. Apparently I'm, my status is offline at the moment, I can put myself online here, it won't actually do much because um, I've got no friends at the moment, but if I do, I believe they get a notification that I'm online, um, I can send notifications to them, you know, do you want to play this multiplayer online game, and they can accept or not from that point of view. See if this connects here. Apparently I've got a good signal. Ah, now I'm ready to play for someone. Okay. Engage point level. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but mine's gone from 0 to 1 to 2 now. Um, I'm not sure what that's out of. Unfortunately I can't give you much more information on that at the moment. There's no, not really much of a help guide at all with this suite. Um, gaming history, again, very... Well, pretty much identical to the My Game section below. Add a friend, that's where you do it here. And here we have the shop. Oh, apparently Game of the Week is Block Breaker Deluxe, which is a bit... I don't know. I think the Game of the Week may be decided by Nokia themselves rather than a, a community pool. Because um, I've heard some pretty bad reviews on that game. Anyway... Let's move on to some actual games. Okay, first I'll show you System Rush Evolution. Okay, also a question you may be wondering um, how are games played on the N82? It's got absolutely tiny buttons, um, no gaming buttons, and also it's in portrait. Uh, there's no landscape options, they're disabled from the menus for some strange reason, even if you're playing on the TV. Um, where you could have a Bluetooth keyboard, for instance. 
This is the issue I think Nokia should work on immediately. Then again, it's not officially out yet. So, we'll see. Jump to the story mode. Jim, while we're here, let's see if we can put the volume up so you can hear anything. I may need to go into the options of the actual game to put the sound up as well. Okay, it looks rather like the uh, preview which has been going around on a lot of engaged phones. But it obviously plays, well it plays very similar too, but there's different modes on this and there's actual levels opposed to just those really small trial ones you get. Okay, the idea of system 